Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to use jQuery Dialogify plugin functionality, in delete of MySQL data using PHP with Ajax. Now, the question arise how can we using modal dialog box for, delete of data, so normally, when we have click on delete button, then JavaScript alert box has been pop up on web page. And when we have click on OK button, then data delete query has been run, and suppose we have click on cancel button, then no action has been performed. Same way here, we will use Dialogify plugin, modal form confirm box pop up modal, and alert pop-up modal in place of JavaScript pop-up box, when user click on delete button. Now, let's start discussing this topic, this is our working folder, and here one file has been added, like delete data.php, in this file we will write php script for delete data. First we want to add delete button, in our existing jQuery data table load, for this we have to go to index page, and here we have add delete button table column. After this we have go to, fetch.php file, and here we have write, dollar subarray variable is equal to, button tag with type is equal to button, name is equal to delete id is equal to dollar row id variable and class is equal to delete here we will use delete class as selector and we will fetch employee id value from this id attribute friends here we have refresh page after refresh of web page here we can see delete button, has been added in employee data list, for delete data, we have to click on this delete button. Now we have go to, index page, and here we have write dollar document selector, with on method, and under this we have write, click event with, button class delete. So when we have click on delete button, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write, id variable is equal to, dollar this with attribute method, and under this we have write id, it will fetch value from id attribute, and store under id variable. Below this, we have write, dialogify.confirm method, with two argument, in first argument we have write, message like are you sure you want to remove this data, and in second argument we will define of and cancel button. This method will make confirm pop up dialog box, so in second argument, we have write OK callback function, and cancel callback function, this code will make, cancel, and OK button. First in cancel callback function, we have write this dot close function, this code will close confirm modal dialog box. When we have click on OK button, then it will send delete data request, so in this OK callback function, we have start write Ajax request. In Ajax request, we have write first option, URL set to delete data.php, it will send delete data request to this page. In second option, we have write, method, 
and here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data option, and in this option, we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have send ID variable data to server. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been call, if request completed successfully. Under this function, we have write dialogifa.alert method, and under this we have write, data has been deleted, it will pop up alert message on web page, after deleting of data. After deleting data, now we want to refresh table data, so here we have write, data table variable dot ajax dot reload method, this method will refresh employee data. Now we have go to, delete data dot php file for write php script, and here first we have write, include statement with database connection dot php, it will make database connection on this page. Below this, we have write, if statement, and under condition we have write, is set function with dollar post id variable, this condition will check, if this variable value has been set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, dollar query variable is equal to, delete from employee table, where id is equal to, dollar post id variable, this is delete data query. Below this query, we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write, dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute delete data query, and delete data from query. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh page, after refresh of web page, we can see employee data in jQuery data table, with view, update and delete button, here we want to check delete operation. So, we have click on delete button, after click on delete button, confirm dialog box has been pop up on web page, this confirm dialog box has been generated by using jQuery Dialogifa plugin. Here we can see, cancel, and OK button. First we have click on cancel button. After click on cancel button, no action has been performed. Now, we have again click on delete button. Now we have click on OK button. After click on OK button, we have received alert pop-up message on web page, which has been generated by using jQuery Dialogifa button, and from data table, data has been deleted without refresh of web page. So, by using jQuery Dialogifa plugin, we can make confirm dialog box, and alert dialog box for delete data operation, and by using this plugin we can make single page PHP Ajax CRUD application. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, 
please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.